Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Crafty Fox of Minecraft Military Force, and today we're going to be building the McDonnell Douglas KC-10 Extender. So this is an aerial refueling tanker, and it's used by the United States Air Force, along with the Royal Netherlands Air Force. And this design is built by uh, Mick Albaca yet again, and a lot of people wanted uh, another aircraft tutorial. So here it is. And this is just like a 360 view of it, and this tutorial is going to take a really long I had time to do as with like the C-17 that it took forever. So what I'm doing for this one, uh, we're going to be building it like uh, symmetrically. So we're going to build like one side of it and you'll just have to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, but anyways, let's get started on the video. So we're going to go over here, we're gonna place our wheel down. So this is an Oreo wheel and that's just like a two by two uh, nether brick stairs like that in a circle shape. We could have skip a block of space in between and add another pair right adjacent to it and this is going to be um, the landing gear then we're going to have uh, two stone slabs stone brick slabs like that in the middle in the front we're going to have two nether brick fences in the back we're going to have a cobblestone wall uh, three blocks tall and one in the front on top so it should look like this then we're going to take uh, stone brick slabs and we're going to add three like this on the sides towards the front. And uh, from now, this point on, I'm just going to be building the right hand side of it. And you'll just be doing the same thing on the other side. Alright, so go back to the build. We're going to take stone, add three blocks here. Then go in the middle and add two blocks like that diagonally. And then we're going to add three stone blocks in the middle on top. And then right over here, let's add a stone brick uh, stairs. And then a stone brick slab. And then we're going to go diagonally up and add two stone blocks. And then there will be a stone brick slab um, right there. Then a stone brick stairs upside down. Another stone brick stairs upside down. And let's see, uh, we need to place that, you see on the nose it's like a black spot, we're going to use uh, black concrete for that. So put that right up there, and then we're going to place a stone brick a slab on top. We have a stone block behind it, and you know what, let's make it um, three blocks long. And work on the side a bit, we're going to add a stone brick stairs here. And the middle, let's add uh, stone blocks, fill this in. You know what, you could just fill in this entire area like that. And on the side here, we're going to add two stone blocks. And stone brick stairs. Oh wait, this doesn't connect, so like that. And then stone brick stairs like this, one right side up, one upside down. Another one upside down on the side. So next we're going to go down here. And let's add two stone brick stairs upside down and a stone brick slab then a stone brick stairs in this corner facing the front and another one in front of it facing outwards and then we'd go diagonally up and add two stone blocks like that and let's take a stone brick stairs and add it here and here and behind the stairs we could add a three stone blocks and diagonally outwards and add two uh, then in this nook, there's going to be two uh, stone brick stairs upside down like that. And right above it, this section, we're going to make it so it's five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five of stone blocks. And in front, we're going to add an upside down stone brick stairs facing outwards. And then we're going to add um, stone on top all the way across. Right on top of that stairs. And I'm going to have a stone brick uh, stairs facing the front upside down. Then I'm going to add another layer of stone, but we're going to make it four blocks long here. All right. And add a stone brick stairs here. And then two stone blocks. And then I'm going to add a stone brick stairs here. And next, let's add a uh, stone block here. And that little nook right there, there's a door, so we're going to place 
Uh, let me grab it really quick. A light gray concrete block. And we're going to place uh, two blocks like that for the door. Right there. And let's add stone brick stairs on top. Two blocks long. And right there, this is going to be a black concrete block. And let's add a stone block underneath. All right, next we're going to go to the front and add a stone block here. And a stone brick stairs facing the front on the side. And then two stone blocks. And an upside down uh, stone brick stairs facing the front again. And we're going to add a stone block in this little nook. And stone block filling in all this area on the inner part of this wall all the way to the top level of this. And there's going to be a black stained glass block right behind the stone. And make it two blocks tall like that. Go a little in the front. And there is a um, black stained glass pane here. Black stained glass block, another pane, and a glass block in the center. And on the center, we're going to have an iron trap door like that. Behind it, there's going to be another brick stairs facing the front. And then we're going to add a um, stone brick slab on the side of that, and two stone brick slabs here. And then there will be uh, two. Uh, stone blocks after that All right, so in this middle area we're gonna add a stone brick slab right behind the stairs and another brick slab behind um, that one dag me up and Then two another brick stairs on the sides Like that and then we're gonna take a stone brick slabs add two right here and then we're going to add two stone brick stairs on the side of this, or after on the side. And then in the middle, we're going to add a stone block like that. So then we're going to make this block uh, 68 stone blocks long. So in the interest of saving time of placing all of them, I'm just going to be using world edit. So I'm going to be stacking 67, but it's 68 including this first block. So. 67 plus 1 is 68. So we're going to make it 68 blocks long like that. Then we're going to go in the bottom here, right where this uh, well is. And then we're going to add uh, 5 blocks wide of stone. And that's going to be right on this level. Just make it 5 blocks wide like that. And we're going to make it so that it is 31 blocks long in total. So I'm going to stack 30 like that and you can see how much time I saved just placing all those blocks. Alright next we're going to take stone brick slab add one here it's an upper slab and then we're going to go down up and add two stone brick slabs add stone in the middle and let's make it you know what let's make it four blocks long so that we can add in two stone brick stairs right here and then we're going to take a stone block and let's add it so it goes three blocks long like so and then we're going to add an upside down stone brick stairs right over here facing inside and let's add stone block on the inner part and then I have to kill this person again all right so next we're going to be making this these two stone blocks and the stone brick stairs um, 44 blocks long so I'm going to be stacking for three like that all right, so then we're going to place a stone button on top of this first stone block. Skip a block, add another stone button. And then we're going to skip four blocks and add a lever. So one, and two, three, four, and then we'll place a lever, face that back. And skip a block, add a stone slab. And then we're going to skip five blocks and we're going to add an iron pressure plate. So one, two, three or five for this one so move that down one block and then we're going to skip three blocks and add a stone button and then we're going to skip four blocks and add another stone button so one two three four 
and then we're going to skip four again and add a skeleton skull so one two three four skeleton skull like that next we're going to go to the front and the nose we're going to add two dark oak wooden buttons um, in this nook right behind that stairs then we're going to go to this black concrete and add a stone block after it another black concrete and add a stone block and then we're going to add a stone brick stairs in front of that stone block stone brick slab in front of that stairs and dangling down we're going to add a stone block t-shape that is sort of like facing the front sideways like that let's add stone brick stairs in the corners and then we're going to add a black concrete right behind the stairs with a light gray carpet on top then underneath we're going to have uh, three stone blocks like that and right underneath we're going to have upside down stone brick stairs facing the front another one in front facing outwards and then a stone brick slab and this middle section we're just going to fill that in with stone all the way across like that alright so next we're going to go down here and add three blocks tall stone blocks and we're going to make it so that it is 43 blocks long all three of these so I'm just going to stack it once again bam and then for this top section we're going to add um, five stone blocks right behind the black concrete one two three four five and then we're going to add uh, two light gray concrete blocks like a door and then we're going to add 19 uh, stone blocks like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and then add another door with light gray concrete again and 19 again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and add two light gray concretes like that all right so cool so in the space in between the doors we're just going to fill that in with stone blocks all the way across towards the front and appears someone is watching me uh, while doing this tutorial fill that all in all right good okay, so next we're going to go to that door right here and then we're going to skip three stone blocks in the front we're going to replace this block with gray concrete, skip one, and then add three quartz blocks like that. Then we're going to make the door banners. So we would go get our crafting table, and we're going to make this one. So to make that, we're going to take light gray banner, ink sack border around it, take that banner, and then add a light gray border around it. And then we'll have that thin line, the outline for the doorway. And we're going to place that on all the doors. So put one here, put one there, put one here, and the last one right over there. All right, cool. All right, next we're going to go to the back. And let's um, make a little hole right over here. So it's going to make it like a three by two hole. I guess you can make a board around it. So it sort of looks like this. And this is going to be like where the landing gear is going to pop out. So um, let's go down to this level here. You can make the border wall all around like that. And we also want to have like a roof to this uh, out of stone blocks. It could cover up that roof area. So we have like a 2x3x2 two by by two hole like that. Once we have that, we're going to make this section in the back uh, 8 blocks long. So I'm going to be stacking all 5 of these. 7 blocks like that. Alright, as for the landing gear, we're going to add uh, two cobblestone walls like this. 
and add an upper um, stone brick slab like that. We're going to have it right underneath the cobblestone wall. And I'm going to have one in the front like that, so it's like two. Then I'm going to add um, our nether brick stairs, uh, Oreo wheels again, two by twos, like so. And then I'm going to add a little um, hydraulic system here. We're going to add stone brick slab here and another one dangling up into that box so it looks like this all right then we're going to go to the back and add four blocks long uh, stone brick slabs like this and make it a four by five like so and in the middle we're going to add it so that this one here three blocks uh, wide like that and then two blocks long in the center so it should look like this all right, and then I'm going to add a stone brick stairs to the side of the stone block and a stone brick slab in front. And I'm going to add another stone brick stairs. Um, let's have it facing outwards like this. And another stone brick stairs facing uh, the back, so it kind of looks like this. And then I'm going to add uh, stone brick slabs, three blocks, on the side like that. I'm going to take stone block, fill in the 2 by 2 here and fill in this area with stone and we're going to make this and then we're going to make it 14 blocks long so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 alright and the front of that we're going to add upside down stone brick stairs facing the front um, a stone block to the side of that another stone brick stairs facing the front stone block to the side of that another stone block in front of that and then two uh, upside down stone brick stairs facing outwards and then five stone brick slabs so one two three four five all right on the layer on the top section right over here um, I think it's kind of similar it's just like one block back Got a stone brick slab here five blocks long and then two stone brick stairs upside down a stone block here and another stone block diagonal with a stone brick uh, stairs on top all right then we're going to go over here to the side we're going to fill in this hole here all the way across uh, filling in this area here so that there is nothing sticking out or <laughs> nothing like um, there's like a there's no hole anymore okay all right, next we're gonna go back to the wing and add 12 stone blocks after this stone brick stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we're gonna add five stone brick slabs. And then right over here, let's add a stone block. This little nook, and all the way across on the side, just fill all this in with stone, like so. And the side here. Uh, let's add stone brick stairs uh, Two of them upside down facing outwards and a third one actually not a third one. There's just a stone brick slab like that Then we're going to take a stone block add it on the inner part of this And we're going to extend it uh, Let's make it four blocks long like that All right next we're going to go to the side here and we're going to make this stone brick slab five blocks long so one two three four five go down the back and we're going to add three back three again then two then we're going to add three and then two again and then three then two and that should be it so it should be a uh, five three three two three two three two and then we go diagonally up at three then we back two then diagonally back um three and the side here we're going to make it four blocks long like so all right next we go to the back stone block and we're going to make it two blocks long Go dangling back, add another two, and keep on doing that till reach just before it goes up with the slabs you'll see on later on. So just keep on doing this two pattern. 
and then we'll soon be reaching the part where it goes up and then we're going to be left with the like the single one here and then uh, let's add uh, stone brick stairs uh, right in the nooks of all of them so you want to have it every other block so in these corners in between so it's kind of like stairs slab stairs in just keep on doing that for the rest all the way back to the center and then we're going to fill in uh, this middle area with uh, stone brick slabs just all the way across like so all the way back to the edge of the wing and we're also going to add some more stuff there too as well so go over here uh, diagonally forward and add um, I guess like three notches so this is first notch second notch third notch and the third notch we're gonna make it two blocks long and then we're gonna add uh, three more notches one two three so it lines up with that first uh, slab that goes up and then we're gonna connect them together all the way across and just fill in this whole entire area with uh, stone brick slabs all the way across like this alright so then we're going to go to the side of this stone brick slab and then add two stone blocks like that go diagonally forward and add three notches after that we're going to add two block notch and then we'll add five notches one two three four and then five and then we're going to fill in this middle area with stone blocks all the way uh, from this section on just fill that in like so all the way across all right so after we do that, let's work on the sides, I mean the front of it. Let's add uh, stone brick stairs uh, facing the front like this. Two, and then one, one, one. And then this one is two, but then this one's kind of curved. And then we'll have um, three of them facing the front. And right over here, there is a slab like that. Then we're going to add a stone line all the way back to the fuselage like this. Fill all this top layer in with stone blocks. All the way like this. Alright, so back to over here. Uh, we're going to skip this stone block, add a stairs. Add a stone block, add a stairs in the front and then two stone blocks here stairs to the front again and then there will be uh, two stairs actually this one's supposed to be right side up and then two stairs facing outwards in front of that stairs and then two slabs in front of that and this is where the engine's going to be that's why this part sticking out is the pylon and then we're going to go um, just diagonally past the stairs and add stairs on the side here and another one facing outwards stone block on the side of that stairs in the front stone block on the side stairs in the front stone block stairs in the front and another stairs uh, facing outwards and another stone block stairs in the front of that and then we'll fill in this gap using stone blocks all the way across like so alright so I made a little tiny mistake it's not that big of a deal so we're just gonna go over here remove this uh, stone brick stairs place that with a stone block and a stone brick stairs in the front and then we're gonna make this stone brick stairs curved inwards like that Alright, so next we're going to go down below and add uh, two stone brick slabs. All 
All right, then we're gonna go down below and add two stone brick stairs upside down, like that, and a stone block here. Stone brick stairs upside down, upside down, and another one upside down here. Then um, right over here, we're gonna add uh, three blocks wide uh, stone brick slabs, and I'm gonna make it nine blocks long. I'm gonna use world edit again. Stack it eight blocks, so it's nine in total. And then I'm going to delete this one in the front corner like that. All right, then we're going to go to the back of this wing. Right there with this stonework slabs is. And we're going to skip one slab and add four slabs across. Go right to the inner part and add another two slabs at the front. Then we're going to add stone block in the front row of that. And extend it so it's five blocks long. And then I'm going to fill in this middle area in with uh, stone blocks like that. You know what? Extend it by another one like that. All right, then we're going to go inside here. Add three blocks, stone block here. Go down the back and add another stone block. And let's add a cobblestone wall. Stone block underneath. And then two more cobblestone walls. In the front, we're going to add two um, another brick fences like that. And the side here, we're going to add two stone blocks like that. Then we're going to take a stone brick slab. Right to the side of this stone, add that slab, and then go down up. Another slab, down up, another slab. So it looks like this. And on the bottom row, we're going to add three blocks uh, long upper stone brick slab. And then we're going to add uh, four wheels using our Oreo wheels, like this at the corners. And another pair here. And our last pair. It's going to be tricky to put that there, but we'll do it. So it looks like this, and we're also going to add in um, the wheel covers, so the side of this hole. Um, Let's place another stone block here, and then we're going to have upside down stone brick stairs, three of them. I'm trying to place it down. It's quite hard, so I'm going to remove that block temporarily. So place these three upside down stone brick stairs, place the stone block black, back I mean. So it looks like this. Alright, next we're going to go to the side over here, and add five stone brick slabs here. One, two three, four, five, dangling back two, dangling back two, dangling back one. Then we're going to go back to the front where this pylon is and underneath this uh, stone brick stairs. We're going to add stone brick slab and we're going to continue that all the way to line that up with the other slab. At the back hand side, right here and then line that up all the way back like so. Alright, back to this area. Then we're going to add six stone blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to add uh, stone brick stairs right over here. And there will be five stone blocks here. In the front, we're going to add upside down stone brick stairs like this. And there are going to be two facing each other like that. And then another two on the sides. I'm going to be placing a lot of blocks temporarily so I can place them. And same thing on the other side. Another two and two on the bottom. Like so. And then I'm going to add levers to the side of this first stone brick stairs. And behind that lever, we're going to add four uh, stone brick slabs like this. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. And on the side, let's add uh, two by five of stone. Like so, same thing on the other side. And a two by five on the bottom. Then we're going to take out uh, stone brick stairs, add one upside down and right side up on the sides, like so. 
And the middle area, we're going to have them facing uh, back to back like that. Right above, we're going to add a 2 by 3 um, of gray concrete. And we're going to make it two blocks tall like that. Then we're going to add four stone brick slabs under here, just like we did on the top section. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to go to the back and add a 2x2 two two Oreo wheel of nether brick stairs like that. And inside the intakes there's going to be the fans. And then on the inside we're going to make a light gray concrete diagonal. So like two blocks in and then gray concrete diagonal. And then we're going to add a 2x2 two two, uh, nether brick stairs, kind of like a hole shape like that for the front and that should be it for the turbine. Alright and then next we're going to go down over here and let's add a stone brick slab um, underneath that stairs and behind this stairs we're going to add a stone block all the way back right there filling that in and this section um, not including the wheel uh, we're going to fill that in with stone all the way across like that so that we still have like this hole for the wheel and over here in this section I'm going to fill this in with uh, stone brick slabs as well all the way across this entire section should be filled in alright cool and then I don't know that section alright so that's it for the wing, I think. All right, then we're gonna go down over here. You see this hole here, we're gonna fill that in all the way across of stone. Like so. All right, then we're gonna go to the back and add a stone block here. And then uh, let's add two blocks long, stone block there. And make it go all the way across the center so and then we're going to add a stone brick slab here then on the layer above we're going to add three then I'm going to fill it like this two by three stone in add a stone block here then we're going to place a stone brick slab here uh, diagonally uh, upwards stone block and then a stone brick slab actually to the side of the stone block and then a stone on top with a stone brick stairs facing the back upside down like that. And right above we're going to have a stone brick stairs facing the back over here. And then two stairs facing outwards like that. And I guess a slab. And then we're going to fill in this hole in using stone. Then we're going to use stone brick stairs and add like that, one in the middle, one on the side of it. And we're going to take stone brick slabs, add two on the side, and a 2x2 two two right here. And then in the middle, we're going to extend it by two blocks or these uh, stone brick slabs. Dangling up two stone blocks. And then there will be two stone brick slabs, like that. And then I think there's like two stone blocks again like that. And next we're going to add four stone blocks here. One, two, three, four. Dangling inwards at three stone blocks. And then we'll add two stone blocks inside this part. And two stone brick slabs behind that part. And a stone brick slab over here. And then two stone brick slabs here. Then we're going to go to the side of this upside down stone brick stairs and add three stone blocks facing back. And then the stairs upside down, side of that stone block, three blocks long and the stairs upside down facing the back. Side of that stone, two blocks, stairs upside down facing the back. And then on the side of that a stone block, two blocks long, like that. All right. So then we're going to go to this uh, stone brick stairs. Add a stone brick slab underneath to diagonally forward 
and same thing with the one over here then we're going to add um, let's add three or actually just add two uh, stone blocks right in front of that uh, slab and add a slab right over here goes diagonally down and then stone right there and it connects like that so for this one I think it's the same thing maybe it's a little bit different this one's actually two slabs and then a stone block and then um, you see these holes over here which could fill that in with stone like that all right, so for um, the one over here, how are we going to do this? Uh, we're going to skip this stone block here, add a stone block slab, then a stone block with a slab underneath, and then stone block. Uh, it just goes, connects back to the hole like that. All right, and then we're going to go over here and add a stone block there. Stone brick stairs upside down facing the back with a stone brick slab following that and right over here this is going to be stone brick stairs I mean a slab like that all right cool then we're going to go down over here add three stone brick slabs underneath the stairs facing the back dangling up add a stone brick slab two blocks long dangling up stone brick slabs two blocks long and right over here we're going to add um, another brick uh, slab like that same thing on the other side and then uh, another brick stairs um, one right side up and one upside down on the sides and I, I'm actually not supposed to be building that side I'm just be supposed to be building this side but oh well so it looks like this and we're going to need to add a banner for this and it's going to look like that so in case you don't know how to make that banner I'm going go, to show you so we're going to go add a black banner, take a white uh, bone meal die, make a diagonal across, take that banner and then add a ink sack border around it and that's how you make the banner. Now I think Mikhail Paka said this is like the US Air Force logo, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, you've got to build that in the back. So it's gonna like look like this, and then to make the other side, you're gonna have have a different banner. Just make the diagonal the other direction. It's pretty easy. So then we're gonna add three stone blocks right here, and a stone brick slab here. Diagonally up, add a stone block, and then we're gonna make it so it's like uh, six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Then we're gonna go back in the front over here. And then I'm going to add seven stone blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like so. And then I'm going to go up over here, add another seven. So it should be like the same length. And in this nook, we're going to add a uh, stone brick stairs. So let me grab that. And I'm going to add four. Apparently, I don't have it in my inventory anymore. So let's add four stairs here. One, two, three, four. And then we'll add uh, two stone brick slabs, like so. And right in this nook, we're going to add three stairs one, two, three. And then three slabs one, two, three. And a stone block uh, dangling down like that. And then a stone brick stairs facing outwards, and another one facing the back um, like that. Alright, and then we're going to add a stone block in front of that other stone block. Add a slab on the side of that. Stairs facing outwards. And then I believe that's three stone blocks in front of that. Um, a slab over here, and then two stairs. And then there's like these two upper stone brick slabs like that. Right in that little nook. So then we're going to go to the back place a stone brick slab right here, stone brick stairs behind it, and another stone brick stairs upside down on top, and I think there's another slab, yeah, there's no slab sticking out like that. Alright, and then we'd go to the front area where this stone block is, and on the inner part in the center we're going to add a stone brick stairs like that, we'd add stone, connect that all the way to the back section, 
like so. All right, next we're gonna go down over here where this uh, stone brick stairs is. And I'm gonna add three stone blocks like that. Then we're gonna make this side two blocks long. Go diagonally outwards towards the front and add stone blocks uh, so that this part is gonna be five blocks long. One, two, three, four, five. And um, yeah, the rest, um, this area, we're gonna fill that in with stone, three blocks like that. And I guess the rest of that, we're gonna fill that in with stone as well so it all sticks out. Like so, we don't have any holes. That's very good. All right, and then we're gonna add upside down stone brick stairs here. And then three stairs upside down here. In front, we'd add a stone brick slot there. Dangling outwards towards the back, I guess. Add another one. Dangling outwards, add another one. Make it three blocks long. And then I guess we'll just fill that in towards the rest of it. And then we'd go dangling outwards again like this. And this part is six blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna add it so that it is three blocks long towards the fuselage. And I guess we'd go inwards, another three. And inwards, then there'll be two. And then we're gonna fill in this hole in with uh, stone brick slabs all the way across like this. And there's still more to this actually. All right, then we're gonna go over here, this nook, and then we're gonna add stone brick slabs. So it's like a corner piece, with three blocks like that. And then we're gonna extend it all the way to the back, and it's gonna stick out one block past the back, like that. And this back section, we're gonna make that uh, three slabs long. Dagley outwards again, three slabs long. And the corner, we're gonna make it three slabs long again. And we're going to go diagonally forward, just one block at a time, a straight diagonal. And uh, then we're going to be left with this, so I don't know. If there's something wrong going on, my mistake. So this outer edge is four, and we go diagonally straight out like that. And fill in the rest in with uh, stone brick slabs, and we should be done with the horizontal stabilizer. Now all we have to do is like that tail, and I think we're done. All right, then we're gonna go over to this uh, stone brick stairs and add three stone blocks. Upside down, stone brick stairs. And then a stone slab. We're gonna place an iron block on top of that stone slab and add another stone slab. Then we're gonna add stone um, in front of the iron block with a stone brick stairs uh, facing the back right on top and at the very tip of the tail we're going to add two gray concretes and a wither skeleton skull then we're going to have uh, two uh, light <laughs> light gray stained glass panes on the side like that and then we'll add a stone block in the front of that pane and we're going to make that 16 blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen all right, and then we'd add um, stone brick slabs, uh, three slabs at the tip uh, on top and the bottom. Then we're gonna add upside down stone brick stairs on sides all the way to the front of this. Same thing on top, just stone brick slabs across like so. Next, let's go to the center, and let's add a stone block right above that stairs, and a stairs in front, and let's add a gray concrete on top, and an upside down stone brick stairs on top of that, and a wither skull skull sticking out. Now, the original design has iron trap doors, and I know not like everyone uh, can get these in like uh, vanilla Minecraft, so instead you can use. Uh, birch trap door, that'll be the closest thing to do it. Or I can use another trap door, so we're just gonna place uh, two birch trap doors on top and two on the bottom section. Gonna try to place that right. 
like so and add uh, stone brick stairs at the corners and the sides uh, the birch trap door is coming again and I'm trying to place that while hovering in the air like that just close them up so it looks like this alright and on the side we'd add a birch wooden button like that then we'd go to the back and let's add in stone blocks like here all the way to the front like so and the back section we would add in um, right above the stairs uh, three stone blocks like that add a stone brick uh, slab in that corner underneath and on top we're going to add in uh, three stone brick slabs like that all right and then we're going to add a stone brick stairs facing the back in front of these slabs and then four uh, stone brick blocks one two three four right above that first one we're going to add another stone brick block go down the back add another one then we're going to take quartz add one here and then two on this one and then there will be a TNT block over here with a lapis lazuli in the front. And this is the American flag, by the way. And then there will be gray concrete, two blocks over here. And then we'll add stone brick blocks again, two blocks here. Diagonally up, two blocks. Then above that, we'd add uh, three blocks wide, a uh, quartz block with a black concrete on the back and then another quartz block and the back section there will be two stone blocks with one stone brick block and one stone block and the stone brick stairs and then a quartz stairs that little nook right in the front and we want to have like this diagonal all the way down right over there so to do that we're going to place a stone block right underneath that stairs and then have it go diagonally down just a straight diagonal like so and then we'll have stairs in the front of all these in the front I'm going to add a stone brick slab here and fill in this whole section over here with stone blocks all the way across like so All right, cool. And then this top section filled in the holes as well. And for this back area, we're going to add a stone block here. Dangly forward, and let's add, I think it's three blocks long. But I'm not quite sure. It's kind of far away, so let me go take a glimpse of it. Yeah, it is three, and then two. So the next one is two, like that with a stone brick slab underneath and then there will be stone block here and then fill in the rest with stone all the way across like so and then on top we could add uh, two dark oak wooden buttons like here on the sides and the side of this emblem as well like so and the one last detail we could go in between these black concrete blocks down below let's add dark oak wooden button right there um, and yeah, this is like the half of the aircraft. So uh, I kind of made like some part of the other half of the aircraft. So you just have to copy it towards the other side. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the McDonnell Douglas KC-10 Extender Aerial Refueling Tanker in Minecraft. And thanks to Mikapaka for the original design. If you guys like this video, I meant to hit that like button down below because it helps grow the channel. And subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.